Hello everybody and welcome back to another BeamNG.Drive video. I don't know why it's called BeamNG.Drive, in fact, it's quite a weird name for a game. Um, maybe the BeamNG thing means something. Anyway, so I did a video a couple of weeks or maybe even months back where I looked at the Brucknell Legran, I think it's called. Apologies if I get that wrong, but yeah, no. Um, so one thing I remember thinking at the time was I don't think you get more old man than this like nothing could possibly get more old man and then I saw this <laughs> on the marketplace not on the marketplace on the BMG mod store now there's not actually much to show because as you can see it's exactly the same car I mean I, I must say I stumbled upon this mod because I found another estate mod that didn't actually work but this is cool. It's called a wagon, actually, they call them in America. And like I say, there's not really much to, to show. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. We could maybe see what it's like when it crashes into a tree and miss all the trees. Um, go hit a tree, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is it after you've, you've just hit a tree. Oh, I love, what, one thing I love about Beam is the hubcaps, the way they come off when you, when, when you crash. Oh look, all three of them are off. In fact, it's just one that happened to stay on. I'll quickly repair that. Um, but yeah, so <coughs> that's that's pretty much that for that car. I mean, there's not really much to show. I guess actually, we could take a real quick look at the interior because obviously they've had to extend it and extend it so it's actually got a boot, I guess. But yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I mean, there's not really much you can show. This is obviously the normal interior. Of the the um, Bracanel Ligeron. Oh look, it's like I'm actually driving it. So yeah, one minute in and I've pretty much already told you everything you need to know about this mod. Uh, you'd think video over, but no. Because I want to do these mod spotlights where I show like two mods that are completely different. I mean, there's only so different you can be when you've got a game all about the same thing, which is driving and crashing, right? So you've got a little, little wagon here, um, and then you've got this. <laughs> this is a straight up, like, I mean, it's a freaking lorry. It looks like a Scania, if, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, and we're obviously gonna set this up for a crash later on, but first off, let's just hop in the Scania. And here it is. <laughs> I mean, I can't actually remember the actual name of it, and I can't remember who made it, but hey, that's what links in the description are for. It's called the 8x8 utility truck, and there is a range of, of designs. I, I picked the log one because I figured it suited the environment. But I haven't really driven it much, I'm not going to lie. I pretty much downloaded it, found it worked, and that was it. I mean, do you really need to know much more? Uh, all four wheels at the front steer, which is pretty cool. Creates that rolling effect. <laughs> it doesn't really create a rolling effect. I mean, it just makes it roll because it's a heavy lorry, you know. Oh, oh. Oh, she's good at staying on her wheels, isn't she? Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get in the slightly beefier one, because there is a slightly beefier one. Um, and yeah. So... <laughs> Here is the slightly beefy one. I mean, I didn't realize it was this freaking beefy. It's got like a roll cage. It's, it's called an exoskeleton, I think that's what you call it. Um, and I mean, it, it looks pretty damn cool, I'm not gonna lie. I think as well, to top this all off, you can spawn in a trailer for it. <laughs> I don't know if it pairs up or, or what it does, um, but we'll just find out. I guess we can just press L. Oh my God, and it does actually. It just links up like that. Okay, um, do we have any other options to like lower the, 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 so we do actually have a cargo doors option, which means we can drive a car onto this. So, I mean, the reason I look at mods is I sort of try and put them to this test. I mean, I normally just spotlight them, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so why don't we just try putting this <laughs> thing to the test by making it tow itself? Although I feel like it's already stuck, so that might not be the best thing. Here we go. To be the last time I try and then I'll just try something else. Oh my god, that's that's gone terribly. That has gone bad. Alright, fine. Let's just try spawning in something a little bit more simple. There we go. Okay, a car that goes straight on there. I mean, it's a bit boring just having one, so we, we should probably just get another one just to be safe. There we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Okay, and now what we need to do is pop up these cargo doors so they, they lift up. There we go. What's landing gear mean? What is that? Oh god. I think that's something we can't see. But finally, we are ready to take our VIP load of lorries. Uh, uh, no, they're not of lorries, of trucks. 
around the map in celebration before we smash into the side of what was the car that I, would, I once loved. I mean, not that red one. I don't love that one. No one loves the red one. I mean, look, this is Euro, Euro Truck Simulator spec right here. Just, t just tell me this isn't like Euro Truck Simulator, please. No, don't actually. That was shout out my dreams. But look at this big trailer. I mean, that's a lot to ask for a mod to for it to, you know, not only implement this massive lorry, but to also implement some some trailers to go with it. Look at how far that car's gone back, <laughs> um, you know, and stuff like that. So I respect that. I, I like that. In fact, I love it. Um, we're going to get it on this straight around here, except I'm going to take it a bit of a, a weird way. I'm going to do a bit of a U-turn. Here we go. And we don't even know if we'll be able to keep this straight. These might fall off way before... Oh, shit. See? Like, right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Well, oh, I've got to do it, and I? I've got to do it properly. For God's sake. Okay, so we're back. It took me long enough. I'm not going to lie. Um... We're just going to plough towards our certain death. I don't know whether to slow-mo it or make it fast. Uh, but, I mean, the, uh, the video's been kind of slow, so we should probably slow-mo it, am I right? Who's with me? Okay, we're all going to go a little bit slow because we need to gain some self-control right here. And I'm just going to travel over to this car really quick. See, this is top tips on how to get them them angles in beam NG drive. I mean, look how scary that looks. Look, that's crazy. Um, it'd be cool if we could get rid of like the 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 speedo and that, but I don't think we can. Here we go. So here it is, storming towards us at full throttle. Super scared. I don't know what 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 to move here. Should I move the mouse? Should I not move the mouse? Okay, it sort of looks like the truck wasn't really phased if we steer it a little bit left actually just just you know <laughs> so I think we've got the best oh my god okay I think I spoke too soon because I, I tried to steer out and uh, something killed me a lot I mean we're still going pretty fast well we're doing 22 miles an hour let's just speed up a little bit let's just get to the certain things. I mean yeah you lose a driver but as far as customer satisfaction, I don't think these bad boys have a scratch on them. That's pretty good. We're going to set up one more big crash off, if you like. And it's just going to be the lorry and, and loads of cars. Let's do that. So here's the standoff, or the wall as we like to call it. I mean, I've got a lot of hope for all of these cars actually surviving. I, I think, I mean, the main mission is to keep the pigeon safe. He's obviously the smallest of the group, as you can see it goes in size order, we've got some cardboard there um, to help out, uh, cardboard being one of the most strong materials, obviously followed up by a road close sign, so the lorry knows that he's doing wrong. And then this is the weapon of choice, which is obviously the lorry that looks a little bit like a Scania, which name I forgot, I think it's like the 8x8, 8x8. but to make things a little bit worse, once we make impact, there's a, a, a big metal ball attached to the back of it so mm, I don't know if that'll do much damage but I know it should do some should we uh, get behind the wheel of the truck here we go this is actually take two but I'm gonna pretend it's not okay. right can we slow down time really quick I need to make sure we're a on track and B that we can slow down time there we go to an absolutely substantial amount to be honest but it's fine let's just tab out okay here he's coming. We're going to watch this from... I mean, let's just say this crash is probably big enough to actually crash my PC. And, and most... I mean, there's not as many cars there as should be. But after setting it up like three times, I kind of got a little bit tired. So let's just get on with the crash and just see what's the worst that can happen. Road sign. Down. Truck. Down. Oh my god, it took them all out. And it's actually technically still going, right? Um, when does it stop? That's the question. We've got, I mean, the initial catch the pigeon. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Uh, along with, with the rubbish truck there, he's gone. I mean, I'm disappointed at this, to be fair. I'm very disappointed. But we're still pushing on. We are still pushing on. He hasn't lost power. I mean, oh, maybe he has. He's going backwards. Let's speed up time a little bit and just see. 
Oh, we got to get in a car quick. Uh, I'm going to press F7 and hope for the best. Oh, we got in the one we wanted to get in. And it's still got power. I haven't, I honestly haven't um, reset. I just reset the car. I didn't reset the um, damage or anything like that. And it looks like it's still got damage. So I'm going to just drive it in. I'm not going to do any of that fancy slow-mo shit. I'm just going to drive it into the pile again. Just see if we will take one more hit. One final hit for this very, what I think has been a short video. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going full again. Absolutely crazy. And we're going to hit the bin first. See, I think... I think I must have stopped accelerating by an accident because look I caught the bin now I am the new bin man woohoo and to be honest I mean this guy's got barely any damage neither's that guy all right let's let's hit him oh my god look at him he's shaking he's panicking he's scared I barely hit him <laughs> that's fine Wow. So obviously just before we end it, let's just have a look at the two vehicles that this is really about. The Brockel Legrand um, Wagon Edition. I mean, this is cool. This is cool. And then obviously the eight-wheeler, indestructible by the looks of it, uh, Scania looking lorry thingy. There's loads of options available for this. There are more trailers. There are more versions of it. It's got like a, it's got like a box on the back of it and stuff as well. However, with this one, that's about what you're gonna get but it's still cool and I don't know beam just doesn't really it doesn't matter how many mods you've got in game it it genuinely doesn't really slow down which amazes me every time for now thank you very much for watching if you like the video thumbs up if you like my videos go and hit subscribe and I'll see you in a bit